Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've done here so far. I removed the cover. I saw this on Facebook page for you to remove the cover from this, um, I don't know what you call it. I'm gonna call it Mr. East. It was an Easter board. I put a rag of hot water on top of here for about five minutes and it like peels the whole thing off. And um, when you peel it off and it's still, some of them are still are dry patches and the water didn't hit, rinse the, put the, the rag on hot water and again, put it back on and it removes the whole, as, as opposed to removing the glitter, it removed the whole thing. So real quick what I did. You live and you learn. I didn't do this the first time I did the pink the, the one I, the, with the pink stroller. Well, my phone is like going down, going down, going down. Hold on one second. So what I did with these, I added these tumblers and the little ones. It's just to hold them as opposed to gluing this and glue it to the board. Makes it easier for me to glue the two tumblers just to have support to put this right here. You see what I mean? This is the crib part. And the side ones that I did, which is the small ones, uh, to put the painting sticks right on because you it's hard to glue the stick to the board so i added these tumblers so i can then add it glue it to the little blocks rather you see it's easier because you can't glue this tip to this board It'll do, it'll grab, but then it'll be, it won't have a stern or it won't be steady. So again, I did these, which I added two tumblers and one, two, three, four blocks, which is going to be the rails for the crib. As opposed to gluing the bottom that, to the board, we can glue it here. You see, you live and you learn. You learn how to make, you know how to, you know, do other things a little better the, the second time around. You see, I'm gluing it to the, so, but before we do that, we're going to paint this brown. Real quick, Hi one guys, part I of didn't show and I forgot. Stick. That's the that's because I'm always be for the crib. trying to cut One it short. I, did I to took five I painted of this. the just a platform of um, the paint so sticks I did, I took and glued them together. Not together per se. I took a a popsicle stick, glued them together, and with put a stick it at the back of with it. a popsicle stick, as you can see. see. So after five. I glued that together, and what I did was I, I added, added this edge piece onto it. it. Which is which is another paint stick, like and I this. just put it to the side. Gives it a platform so you look. You have the flat surface here, and then you got this. I forgot one to I was, the side. you know, I'm always trying to because cut short on these the videos because I don't think I need to show you how to paint. And at the crib, you see, you see the platform, the platform right there. So it's five see? paint sticks. You glue them in the Again. back with popsicle sticks. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them, paint correct. Sticks. Glue them on the this back. This part is quick. Sticks. I'm always trying to cut corners, and I that really quick. forgot to That's explain simple. before I painted it. Then I added this piece here, which is another Again, painting stick. One at the to side. The side. Five. So this is our platform, and, and I two just more extra, which is side. each side it, it of gives it the platform. Um. I painted the boards. See how pretty that See, brown looks? Again. Tumblers I love and this paint. Folk art. These paint. down here is to I hold. I bought it from Michaels. 
and um, I'm speak. showing this part. Platform. Remember the four wood See? pieces right because there. We can't glue you need this four, another four together just like of that. the paint stick, which is the rail support. to the crib. So the total sure is five, six. Let and me count. Five, doesn't six, come seven, apart. Eight, nine, ten, eleven stick, and all you would need. So what I opted to do is because this one is going to be like a mint green one. And don't forget, you need four of the sticks. There you go, the four, these which the was already painted. Two and two. We're going to put these to the side. I'm always trying to hurry up and do these videos. Piece. I don't think... Oh, real quick, I guys. Be, they, that's is my this the paint that you use? I'm going to leave it. it in the bio of I'll this video. The at the it's, description um, box. Folk Art. This is Yava, which is Chocolate Cafe. I love it. Last I bought it on time. sale in Michaels, and Two I am in love. Anything, that's all you need. With this color. So, so we're doing this. I'm gonna a mint, like a mint I'm, I'm looking for a distressed look. That's why I added the so brown. I went now. For I'm the mint add green. The, this is Craft Smart. And again, I love the, the Craft Smart. I love these paint. Also, I, I also get it. them in Michaels. So. Michael's for paint, paint. chalk paint, all the this way. This is bright mint, menta. And those little little so tubes come do, I last a long doing time. The, the Vaseline. So okay, I'm going to give you it a already try. know the method I, I use for I distressing. Not like my painted. favorite but times I use I it, and times I don't. It, I don't want a man. But I'm going to use it here. Glue together. You want to take your time, and which make is to doing it correct. Coat. So whatever you're going to distress with Vaseline. Take some. Vaseline. Take a brush. This is about You're the third time I've it. done this, and I don't really think I'm going to do it anymore. And you just, where you want it to look distressed is where, where you're going to put the petroleum jelly. Vaseline, petroleum jelly. You say potato, I say potatoes. It's just going everywhere with me. It's not my favorite technique. I don't know why I chose to go this route, but I had started the process. I couldn't go back. You remember we gonna do? I'll the give front it too much. This is the part you wanted to look distressed. I think I overdid it with the petroleum jelly, but hey. And you just give it one um, coat of the the paint you're going to distress gonna do it this with. this side also. But. And that would be for me the green, the mint right green. Here. Take this piece here. And where are my little... Cups. And be okay. very generous when you Give use that second. second. Coating. There you go. I think this is about the only part I'm going to paint here. Because, again, I don't feel like I should be on video showing y'all how to paint or painting something. You know, it's just a waste of video. And I am that type that don't like long videos, don't like too much talk, and I just like to get to the point. And that's it. After you apply that coating, let it dry. Let it dry. What I do now is I take my hair blower and blow it dry. Simple as that. It doesn't mess up my paint. It doesn't cause any kind of damage to it when I used to blow dry. Because I asked, was it, I asked one time the heater gun 
what's the difference? And they told me the difference. Oh, it's going to mess up you. Mm, listen up to now. It's been doing good. Don't fix nothing that's not broken. And I have no specific way of painting either. I'm a sloppy painter. I go everywhere but where I got to go to. Or what needs to be painted. Just a nice amount. One one coating, no two coating. Only one coating you need of this. I don't know when to stop. I'll keep painting and painting. And there you have it. You see, I don't know how to stop. And, um, petroleum jelly on the next one. And again, you add that to where you want to look at, you want the distress part to be. I was just patrolling it down, the whole thing. Don't know what I was thinking. Okay, not enough. One coating, that's all you need. I didn't know why I didn't stop here from recording, but be generous. I'm that crafted that whatever I have home is what I'm using. I'm not buying anything extra. It's just what I have here. And I came upon this crib I made just because I needed to craft. I needed to craft, not videotape myself, not taking pictures, just concentrating on crafting as opposed to a video. And that was the pink one I made. I needed something to go in it. So I decided to make the handmade plush bunnies. Which came out really cute. I'm also going to um, share the link in the, um, in the description box. Okay, so wish me luck because I put the Vaseline method on it. And I really hope it comes out the way I want it to come out. I use any sander, any sandpaper. To me, it don't matter. Sand it lightly. I just breezed the process here when I said sand it lightly. And I'm looking at the video that I, fa I fast. I speed the process up. It looked like it's not soft sanding. Just give it a nice sand to it. That's it. It looked like I'm going in hard, trying to, no, softly. So I'm doing the second piece to it. Remember, you got the headboard and the footboard, so to speak. And again, when I say sand softly, I speed the process up on this video right here, on this part here. Doesn't look like I'm doing this softly, but I am. Let 
Now, the last piece to it is just sanding down the rails to the crib, which is four pieces. Just want them to look distressed. Okay, guys, we're going to assemble this bad boy now. Let me get my... E600 glue, and I'm sorry that I'm reaching over. The glue, glue is right here. Okay, let's bring these two pieces of paper out. We are adding on E6000 and the hot glue because the E6000 takes a while to dry up and we want it to hold quick. And the only way we can do that is with the hot glue gun. We want a more secure Hold it. All the dust, because I have sinuses and allergies, you know, it's activating everything right now. But hold on to these for a few seconds. You see? Just to make sure. I bought pretty ribbon, lace ribbon, flowers. Where are you going? Just a little bit here. And a little bit here. Now let's see how that goes. Just for the hot glue. 
to dry up quick. Not to dry up quick, just wait until it dries up. Then you'll turn it around. Can you see this? Just adding a little more security. Just adding more of the hot glue. Can you see? Now, to the rails, we're going to glue them to the, the little cube, wood cube we put. gonna add glue to the side of it also. Hold on to it. Once I get this first stick on, then I could turn it around and show you a little better.
can see. Very generous enough on the on the cube. This is what's gonna hold. All sticks together. So what I did was I put the glue on the cube, the wood cube. Because if you want, you could glue this to this, but that's too much trouble. You want to make sure that it stays in place. I'll put the cube just to give it security. Okay, next one. I want to make sure that you understand what I'm doing here. Again, we're going to glue this, which is the rail to the crib, on the cube on the side. Again, just to give it a little extra secure. You know, if you find a, a quicker way of doing this, then by all means. And there you have it. I'm going to try to sand this down more a little bit. I'm not really liking the way it looks back here even though something else is gonna go back here. And guys, here you have it. Your crib with Dollar Tree items. Now how you decorate it is up to you. My stick came out. My stick came out. What's going on? I'll be right back. I distressed it a little bit more. I feel like I can distress a little bit more of it, but that's what happens when you gamble. But I love it. I got my distress crib. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. It's time to decor. 
It goes to show you nothing set in stones when it comes to me. This is one of the piece. This is what I started with. It's not what I ended up with. I used some lace that I had there. Um, I had, a, as you can see, a butterfly. Put the lace on the... On those. And I added the butterfly that I also bought from Dollar Tree. All of this, the board and that was born at Dollar Tree. The painting sticks, Home Depot. I, I did it this beige color. I forgot. I didn't even look at the bottle. Also smart craft. Um, again, you know, when it comes to me, I'm always changing up. If I don't like it, uh, I'll change it. It's not what I, I ended up with. But it's what you have at home that you can add on to whatever you have. Uh, as you can see, I switched it up real quick. I had some lace, vintage lace ribbon that I found in the cubby. Um, I decided to add that on and add it on to the rail of the crib. I also painted the butterfly brown. I felt like the color I used was, it, was, it looked too busy, so I decided to change it. I'm going to add some flowers onto it. And at the bottom of the of the crib. What um, I did also was I added some lace to the inside of the crib. As you can see. But real quick, I want to thank y'all for um, subscribing to Crafting and DIY with Nora. Don't forget, share, comment, subscribe. Um, tell a friend about me, okay? Bye, guys.